Hello, cult members, and welcome to a very special episode of the Pop Culture Cult. Uh, this is no Mondays are normally when we do the Pop Culture Cult episodes, and uh, we're doing a special episode this time because the Last Jedi trailer just dropped like three minutes ago on Monday Night Football. <laughs> um, it's Star Wars Day! It's Star Wars Day! It's Star Wars Day! It's like the third different Star Wars Day of the year. It's... It, <laughs> Marketing, people. Marketing. Marketing. Um, so uh, we had uh, the trailer that came out of Celebration. It was kind of more of a teaser one. Um, and then we've had different things coming out. The big thing that came out this afternoon was uh, there's a new poster. Um, mm, okay. Um, very red. Um, and the biggest face on it is grumpy old man Luke <laughs> in the all black outfit. So... Um, but this came out. Um, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting. We already have our tickets. Are you ready? Uh, I'm ready. I might explode. <laughs> and here's the here's our reaction, our live reaction to. Uh, is the volume on? Yes. Okay. The Last Jedi. Go. When I found you, I found is that Kylo working on something? Ooh. AT-ATs. And it's Snoke talking. And beyond, and beyond that. Very red. Something special. special. That was what? My husband just got goosebumps. Something. Something. Take it. Inside me has always been there. This mess here. Then I was awake. And I need help. Oh. Whoa. I've seen this raw strength only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. Ross. It does now. Uh let the past die. He just destroyed his arm. Kill it. If you have to. That's the only way to become what you were meant to be. What happened to his face? What's up with That's the scar from when they were in the in the forest. Oh! <laughs> this is not going to go. This is cool. You think? For Phil. He's dirt infiltrating. Destiny. Oh. I need someone. I need someone to show me my place. to show me my place in all this. No, not him. And we're done. <laughs> so much. Now we're gonna have to watch it. Okay. Times. So, oh God, I, I. There's been a talk on the internet. Now it's the internet, so it's all speculation because it's. Lucasfilm and they're super like you know secretive on everything right? right but there's been talk on the internet that one of the possible storylines that people would like to see is the redemption of Kylo and the turn of Rey oh oh so so I don't know if that's fan service I don't know if that's misdirection misdirection <laughs> or anything or she goes to luke tries to get him to train her finds that he's the grumpy old man on the all black on yeah the, on yeah get off my lawn dude yeah and so she has she has a better understanding of enough of her power that she goes to the only other person that she knows who has the same power which is kylo mm. That's not even the most important. St I, 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 freaking Kylo has a chance to shoot Leia. Yeah. 
and, and she knows and and did he i mean you know uh, there's a difference between killing your dad and killing your mom uh, right uh, right exactly <laughs> exactly so uh um at the beginning i think that's kylo in that hangar looking out over the army okay um snoke looks awesome yeah so they showed snoke irl right uh, right not a hologram right that was kind of interesting but he looked much show- smaller in real life right and he, <laughs> it was only like half of his face because he's holding it looked like he was holding ray up by the force and try to you know maybe try to get her to do what Palpatine tried to do to Luke and make him submit. Like oh that, that yeah, kind of thing. yeah, maybe. You're, you're, um, uh, the space battle. You have base space battle stuff. Um, you have Finn against Phasma. Yeah, awesome. Been waiting for that fight. Um, and then Finn dressed as as an Imperial officer. Uh, yeah, yeah. Which might mean that what she's doing is part of this whole. I mean, we've known that that they because there was the Asian girl. I don't know what Rose, her character's Rose. name is. Um, where she kind of talks about how they infiltrate, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, I have a hanger on. Um, so maybe what Ray's doing is part of that. Maybe. Um, the infiltration of the base. People are uh, going to go. We've seen this already. We've done this already. But I, 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 I'm telling you right now, everybody on the internet who is doing a reaction is going to talk about how we've already done the infiltration of a major base to stop it from being... from doing. But whatever. honestly, they have to keep infiltrating until they win. Exactly. I mean, there's... Exactly. They, what else are they going to do? At this point in time, the New Republic is essentially the old rebellion. They're trying to find ships. They're trying to find systems to pretty much house them because the New Order came in and blew up the New new Republic. Right. And so their whole base of everything is gone. Right. So now they're the New Rebellion. And so if they're going to do the New Rebellion, they don't have thousands and thousands and thousands of ships and and planets and stuff like that going after them. Right. So they're going to have to do these very Saw Guerrera kind of very small group infiltration hit and miss kind of things yeah i mean i i don't know it's that or a giant space battle right which uh, may be in the next one so luke saying i've only seen this power once before and it didn't scare me then but it scares me now so they showed luke's mechanical hand coming out of the wreckage yeah and they've shown um kylo and the knights of ren blowing that all up right but there's been the whole trailer was snoke was talking in the beginning about properly training and showing glimpses of kylo but then they show ray right and then they talk about how and now luke talks about how i've only felt this power once before and they show they show luke there and then the next shot is ray and then they have but are they talking about kylo are they talking about darth are they talking uh, is he talking about himself right and that's kind of yeah so i i just there's a whole bunch of misdirection in here um i i think on purpose um but i don't think it's wrong i don't think it's wrong misdirection um because i think a lot from everything that's been told talked about and speculated and some people have seen some early cuts of it some industry insiders and stuff like that and they've all said it's really really good the movie's really good um even jj when he read the original script when he was getting done with force awakens said i wish i was directing this and that was ryan johnson's script right so everything's there um at least in this trailer they don't talk about any like major major spoilers at least what it looks like no and i didn't expect them to i mean that's good yeah. right you still want to go see the movie and you don't want to be like a major thing happens and you're like eh, yeah i saw that yeah i don't i uh, they were talking about it a little bit on collider today um and then i've been kind of reading up on it because i wanted to kind of be up to date with everything but i think this might be the last trailer that i actually want to see Oh, I hope this is the last trailer. There'll be there'll be like a 
there'll be like some TV spots and stuff. There might be one more trailer because usually they do like three big trailers. They do one teaser trailer, then one like story trailer, and then one to kind of get you hyped up. That's yeah, what or they might Justice take League pieces something. of the first one and pieces yeah, of this one and put them all together. But I don't expect anything new. No, no. But I, uh, I don't think I want to see anything else. I would like to read up on some stuff. Um, maybe like a novelization of the of the of the movie, or maybe some of the comics that kind of like the Poe comics and stuff like that. that kind of in the Phasma book, I really think I'm going to read the Phasma book next because her story as a child becoming this commander is a big story, and then it looks like it's obvious that she's a made more much more of a major character this time around. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, and I have my theories on Snoke, but that's not what this one's about. <laughs> So what, overall, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, it was really awesome. Good. Yep, we're gonna watch it again immediately. Yeah, probably gonna watch it again. <laughs> I might actually go put it on the big TV and yeah, watch it in there. So, big TV. Yep. Uh, and that's what we have to think about the Last Jedi trailer. What did you guys think? Uh, I'm sure there's a thousand things that we missed um, because it went by so fast, and this is the first viewing. But uh, please let us know what you thought of the trailer. Maybe there's something in the background that we missed or something else. Also, go buy your tickets. Tickets are now available. Um, we have ours already for the 15th. Yep. And the Super Duber Uber Dobie Theater. Yep. Uh, and so go get your tickets uh, if you want to see it on opening weekend. I think it's probably going to sell out pretty quickly now. So like this video. Share your comments. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, you can get a hold of us on Facebook at Pop Culture Cult. I'm all frazzled. <laughs> Uh, we're at Bob Culture Cult One on Instagram. We're at Pop underscore Cult One on Twitter. We're also on the on the Stardust app. We're gonna probably go to Stardust this after we watch it a couple more times. Yeah, uh, it's a chance for you to instantly react to everything that you're watching. Download the app, like Pop Culture Cult first, and then follow your friends. Yep, we're gonna go watch it again. Good night now. <laughs>